Hi, my name is Izzy Ward and I'm applying for an MA in acting. At present, I'm slightly erring more on the side of the classical MA. However, I am very interested also in the contemporary. Um, I'd be happy with both. And today I will be reading Bull by Mike Bartlett, the character of Isabel. And my classical monologue will be The Two Gentlemen of Verona by William Shakespeare. I'll be reading the part of Julia. You have a kid, don't you? You do. I know you do. Well, you know how I know this? It's because once, when we left work, I was walking behind you and I saw you meet this woman in a coffee shop. It wasn't a nice coffee shop. I was surprised you went into it, actually. It was a Starbucks or something. Not even a good one. It was a shit Starbucks, a shit bucks. And I watched you meet this woman and she had a little toddling little thing and I waited and I saw you go to the loo. So I ran in and I was like, oh, I was hoping to catch you. And I pretended I was in a hurry. And I had a nice little chat with Marion. Is that her name, your ex? Yeah. And she told me about Harry, your son. And I said I was a colleague and you were taking ages in the toilet, actually. We talked about it. You did not know what you were getting up to in there, but it meant that we had a good talk about you. And in the end, when you still hadn't come out, I said that I needed to dash and I'd catch you tomorrow instead. But that conversation with her gave me quite a lot of crucial information. Which I've always known. When you've tried to hide things or lie. I've always known about your life things that you don't know I know. I know that you have to pay Marion that certain amount every month and when she finds out, you're out of work. Her low estimation of you will drop. You know. Oh, it will. I promise. She won't even be surprised. That is the really tragic thing. She won't be like, oh my God, you lost your job. Oh my God, she'll be like, yeah, of course he lost his job, fucking retard. Good thing I got out while I could. I better not let him see Harry too much. I don't want Harry to grow up in the distorted, disabled image of his fucking drip drip of a father. I expect that's what she'll think. A virtuous gentlewoman. Mild and beautiful. I hope my master's suit will be but cold since she respects my mistress's love so much. Alas, how love can trifle with itself. Here is her picture. Let me see. <laughs> I think if I had such a tire, this face of mine were full, as lovely as is this of hers, and yet the painter flattered her a little. Unless I flatter with myself too much. Her hair is auburn, and mine is perfect yellow. <laughs> That'd be all the difference in his love. I'll get me such a coloured periwig. Her eyes are grey as glass, and so are mine. I bid her forehead's low, and mine's as high. What should it be? in her that I can make perspective in myself if this fond love were not a blinded god. Come, shadow. Come and take this shadow up for tis thy rival.
Thou shalt be worshipped. Kissed. Loved. And adored. And were there sense in his idolatry, my substance should be statue in thy stead. I'll use thee kindly. For thy mistress's sake, that use me so. Or else, by Jove, I vow I should have scratched out your unseeing eyes to make my master out of love with thee.